by Graham after the weekend's result. A bit of a, a think about your future and a, a sad decision in the end. Yes, a very sad decision. Um, I think it's a club that I've really enjoyed working at. It was a club that gave me my first opportunity in management, so I'll always appreciate that and always be close to the club. But I just felt it wasn't necessarily just Saturday. I think there's been a, a sequence of results where uh, for several weeks now I thought I could improve things. I thought I was the right man to, to, to get the results going and it hasn't materialised. Uh, so I felt that there was a need for a decision to be made. I don't think we could just carry on in the same vein. And uh, that decision I reached was that I would step down as, uh, as uh, team manager of Shrewsbury Town. But over the last few weeks, there's been a team going out, getting results at Oldham, putting in good performances at MK Dons. So it's a frustration that it's just not come together. Yeah, I think that uh, as a manager, you take responsibility for, for that. I think that one or two things can improve. Uh, we've got one or two players coming back from injury and Luke Summerfield, Adam Wildig, Jermaine Grandison's looked good in training this morning. So all that will help the cause. But I just feel that uh, sometimes there's a fresh voice needed at the helm uh, and fresh voice in the dressing room. Uh, and um, I think the time is right to, to, to do that at this club. Uh, I think I'd got uh, the belief from the chairman that I could turn it around. Uh, I don't think there was any thoughts of him asking me to resign or anything like that. In fact, uh, he's done nothing but back me all the way. I think he doesn't always get a good press with supporters, but I've got to say he's a good chairman to work for. Anything I've wanted uh, within reason, he has provided me with. And uh, if the right players had been available, there would have been funds available. I've no doubt about that. So the fact that we haven't uh, been able to sign players over the last uh, month or so when it, they were badly needed, I don't think in any way, shape or form it was down to any reticent attitude from the chairman to provide the finance I think he has backed me 100% and that's one of the reasons uh, that's led me to the decision you know I feel that uh, we should be doing better than we are and uh, perhaps somebody else can take it forward now because whoever gets it inherits a team which is not bad position wise there are six teams below us 19 teams uh, 19 games to go I think that's right and as I say with the recovery and maybe one or two players coming in uh, I think I've been unlucky with one or two players recently. Uh, we'd actually got a contract typed uh, on the computer uh, ready and I thought we'd get him last Wednesday. Uh, he didn't at the last minute. It was a change of mind and he scored two at the weekend for a League One club. So I was disappointed. Little things like that have not gone our way. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Even in matches on Saturday where Tom Eves hit the post. At 1-0 down, goes in, it changes the story. But we can't disguise, and I'm not prepared to, to, to try and gloss over the results, particularly at home. When you've gone six consecutive defeats, um, the alarm bells do ring. And uh, yeah, I reluctantly decided over the weekend that the time was right to step down. Overall, has it been a frustrating season? Because I suppose you started with, say, a quasi Sante and Tavernier on loan, and pretty soon after that, one was recorded, one was injured, so the, the loan cycle continues. It, it has been a problem, uh, even young Liam McAlinden being recalled by Wolves, mm. uh, who was doing quite well for us. So these, these things happen over a season, you know, you've got to put up with those uh, uh, obstacles that are put in your way. But I do think six or seven, eight weeks ago, we were playing OK. And therefore, I think the side, the makeup of the side is, is reasonable. I think at the moment they are massively short of confidence and you can understand that from the run of home results that we've had. And that was clearly in evidence on, on Saturday. You know, people start questioning passion and fitness and everything else. Confidence does a strange thing to players to, of any sport. And uh, we looked absolutely bereft of, of any confidence on Saturday after the first goal had gone in. So, you know, a new voice might just be able to lift the players and get them ready. And... Um, I would like to take the opportunity of, of, of thanking them. There's, there's no rift, there's nothing untoward between myself and the players. I think they have worked as hard as they could have done. Uh, and as I say, I think they're just very short on confidence. They've shown early season in some outstanding performances that they can play the game. We've tried to play in a pleasing manner, which puts more pressure under play, on players when they are short of confidence. So all those things have contributed to where we find ourselves. But... That can change, I'm sure of that. And I think there's enough games left. 
there are enough good players in the club to steer the club clear of any relegation fears. That's got to be the end. That's that's the big issue now, mm. making sure the club stays in League One. Fans as well, there's a few discerning voices on Saturday, but overall they've been great backing you all the way through. So you must have a message for them as well. Well, I think, I, w- I mean, I would like to thank the, the supporters both for the reception when I first came back to the club, the reception that we've got when we've, uh, you know, the disappointment of losing in the playoffs, the uh, uh, achievement of, of winning promotion, uh, terrific days. And uh, more recently, I think they've, they've stayed behind us. And uh, I think that was the case on Saturday, despite the fact that we were 3-0 down. Certainly for the first 20 minutes, 20, half an hour of the second half on Saturday, they, they got behind the players. I think there's obviously some dissenting voices and boos at the end, which is understandable when you've lost six at home on the trot. Um, but generally, I would like to thank them for the reception they've always given me. And uh, that has certainly made the stay here again very much enjoyable. And you came in with the job to achieve promotion to League One, where we are at the moment, highest position from a while. So, in a way, a better position than you inherited. Well, uh, the league tables will tell you that. But I would like to think the club, the club as a whole is in a uh, in a good place. Um, we certainly worked hard to achieve the success, and playing League One football with some big clubs in there is an achievement in itself, you know, after being in the bottom uh, tier of English football for, for a while. Um, I think that people get used to going to the same old grounds, but suddenly when you go into MK Dons, the last away match, a magnificent stadium, there's Molyneux to look forward to, there's other big grounds to, to go to. I think it's um, it does create that interest amongst supporters and uh, I wouldn't in that respect have changed anything. And what about yourself now? Uh, look to the future, have a little think about what you're going to do and no uh, quick decisions? I've got to be honest, you sit and contemplate the future and uh, I would think it'd be fair to say that my managerial days are over. Uh, but aside of that, you know, there might be something I can contribute somewhere. There may be a door open to come back at some time in the long-term future here. Um, but I go away purely with the view that uh, my time is up here. I think it's the right time to do it. I think there's only one thing that's important, and that is the football club itself and uh, ensuring safety. So it's perhaps taking stock over the next couple of weeks and deciding where we go from here as a a family man. But uh, I think it would be fair to say I can't see myself in another managerial role. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.